Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. And today I want to share with you a potential best location to find the Mothman. Let's get started. Finding a moot man or a flatwoods monster is something not that common or easy to do. Now, a few days ago, while doing the weekly challenges, I came across something very interesting. I was able to find four moot man creatures in a very short amount of time. That's quite shocking for me since I have found between 10 to 20 creatures since the beta times. Anyhow, three of my findings were all in the same day and two of them were in the same exact location. Now, all of them were part of the random event spawns in the Cranberry Bog, which is pretty handy to know. So, let's start on how I found them. Here at the Superior Sunset Farm, you can find at least three spots for random events. And both of the spawns I'm going to present to you have this small rift around them. I'm not sure if it is connected or if it means something in particular. Anyway, all you have to do here is search the area, follow the canals around, and keep an eye open if the Mootman spawns, because you can easily miss it if you don't see it from afar. If it's already spawned, it doesn't make a noise at all. And as you can see, his eyes are glowing and you need to see it. If not, you will easily miss it. I killed these turrets and then I kept going forward towards the Mootman. And then it triggered me and it started flying around or teleporting around. Make sure to kill it quickly because sometimes it disappears. I remember one or two I found they like just disappeared into thin air. But yeah, they die in pretty much one hit. It's pretty anticlimactic since it's not something you find every day, at least not for me. And that's how I found my first Mutman in the Cranberry Bog region. The second time I found the Mutman here, it was around these two hills, just as in the previous scene. And I was just minding my own business, checking the canals as usual, going around the rift. And that's when I heard something. Yep, it's the moot man sound and he spawned inside this canal right in front of me. I was waiting for him to teleport, which he did. It kind of tricked me. Such a bad boy. But again, he dies very easily, so... Just have to get close to him and he will be a gunner. Oh yes, he will. But yeah, this happened in the same exact uh, day. Not in the same server though. But as you can see, it's in the same exact random event spawn. Which gives me great feedback regarding this location being a decent high spawn for Mutman creatures. My third finding was here around the Veiled Sunday Groove and this was actually my first time in this particular location. I had never been here for some bizarre reason, for real. You will see that as soon as I enter the groove, it will be discovered. But as soon as I return back to the road and into my adventure, I heard something interesting. Just behind me, a Mothman spawn. Damn, that's three in a freaking day. I was just shocked at this time and I was desperately trying to find a Flatwoods monster, which I never found. But I found not three, but four Mutmen. I don't have the footage for the fort, but it was at the farm. 
And you can pretty much see that I'm not making this up. If you check my level, I was between 203 and 204 while finding all these Moodman creatures. Now, to give you a little more insight on these random event spawns, I want to show you what you can find in these two particular locations. Let's start with the Superior Sunset Farm. There are between three to four spots, but right now I'm going to show you two spots in which I found two Mutman creatures. And it's basically around this area, around these two hills. Now there is one spawn in the very north and then there is one spot in the canals around the hills. Let me show you the one which is basically in the north. It's here at this crushed vertibot and you can find all sorts of creatures here, including legendaries, a 3 stars one. That's the thing, the beauty with random events, you can find a legendaries or just an environmental thing. It just... I don't know, I like exploring and I think it's a really great touch to the game. I will actually publish another video later showing you around 10 um, event locations in the Cranberry Bog, which I have discovered in the past week or two. And the second spawn is, as I said, in the canals. And I found a dead claw fighting a Yagwai. I have found pretty much everything, as well as one star cheap squatches. They are very common in this region. I'm always finding them. And here's another example of what you can find at the north spawn. Just some mongrels and that's pretty much it and another example of a canal spawn which is a one star legendary chip squatch it is very very random and sometimes you will not find anything at all i think the spawns are quite long i would say at least 30 minutes I tested it yesterday and I'm pretty sure they are at least 30 minutes. At the Veiled Sandra Groove, it's pretty much the same. There are two um, spots as well. The first one is right around the groove, which is where I found the Mutman, and also where you can find animals uh, most of the time. I found mole rats, mongrels, and in this specific footage, I found glowing rat stags, as you can see. It's pretty random. Oh, really? <laughs> and then the second spawn is right here. As you can see, all these super mutant spawn, and one of them is actually a legendary too this last guy here just a one star but a hey, a legendary is a legendary and then if you go here you can find a civilian with some interesting items in the loot box as well as a tent with a few items inside and this is just one of the many possible spawns for this location as a contrast for you to compare i came here another time and I found a fallen satellite in the ground with a few rats. Poor beaver, I'm so sorry. And as you can see, it has some pretty handy tech inside for scrapping. And as usual, you can find pretty much anything you can think of in these spawns as well as many others in the Cranberry Bog region. Well, well, the next time I need to find a Mutman and I can't find the Path of Enlightenment event, I know where to go to look for one. Mm? I hope this has helped you in any way possible. I still need to do a little bit more testing, but for a Mutman in such a short amount of time, 
It cannot be a coincidence in my opinion. But to let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think I was just extremely, extremely lucky that day to find a tree? Uh, or if you think they increased the spawn rate for Mutman because of the weekly event or it could be something else that I'm not really aware of. Anyway, that's going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Marta Branco and I hope you can subscribe to my channel if you are new around. Also, if you would like to support me in any other way, feel free to check my Patreon page and I will see you very soon in the next video. Take care. Adios. Bye bye.